Hi everyone, uh, this is Bill Sikora again with another uh, Erector Set project. Uh, you notice that's not me. Uh, this is Peter. He's the guy who helps me with this. He's the cameraman and I thought we'd introduce you to him. Hello. And <laughs> anything else you want to say or we'll pass the camera? Glad to be a part of the show. Okay, so now we'll pass it over. We'll turn it around. Yeah. And okay. here we go. Well, welcome. Uh, what uh, I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about some of the techniques that I use in building these models, uh, erector set models. Uh, there are at least three manufacturers that make erector set. Um, the one that I use most of the time is Meccano, which is probably the most popular. Um, here's one of their instruction books. Here you can see the name on there, Meccano. Uh, it's a French company. and uh, they have inherited, bought out, whatever, the A.C. Gilbert director set, which is the original director set, which I used uh, when I was a 10-year-old kid. Um, here's one of the covers of one of the director sets. Uh, this is a 50 model uh, director set, and all 50 models are shown on the, on the cover. Now, <clears throat> so the examples I'm going to show you here do specifically relate to the Meccano Erector Set, but they can be used for any Erector Set. Now, uh, nuts and bolts are the most important thing in an Erector Set. That's what holds everything together. Now, the problem that I've come across is these nuts and bolts have a tendency to become loose. So I use lock washers. They do not come with the, erect, with the erector set. You have to purchase them separately. But if you take a look, they have what they call internal teeth. You can also buy them with external teeth, but you want to get the internal teeth. And these are a size eight. They come in different sizes. Now, um, you can get these at the Home Depot for like 20 for a dollar 20. So they're not expensive. These hold the, hold the nuts and bolts tight, and they don't come loose. Now, when you buy a Meccano Erector Set, you get these tools, just these two. Uh, this is an Allen wrench. It's used for the bolts. There's actually indentation in the bolt, and the Allen wrench just fits right in. This is for the nuts. It also has a holder, which is nice. You can slip the nut in there. It makes it easy to get the tight to reach spaces. Now, I personally do not like using an Allen wrench. I find it kind of awkward. I prefer something with a handle. So I have bought a screwdriver. It has a hex shaft it's a hex screwdriver that has the same size and shape as the allen wrench and i use this it also has and it has a ball tip which allows you to tighten bolts not only straight on but at an angle so that comes in handy again this doesn't come with a set you have to purchase it separately this is a magnetic screwdriver. Um, it also has replaceable tips. Uh, this particular tip has the same shape and size as a Allen wrench. It works fine. It's good for picking up things as well as um, if you have a bolt you can stick it on here and you can push it in tight to re reach spots like in here. So that's very handy. Now, this is a little thing I kind of invented. It's a small screwdriver and it has a magnet attached to it. Um, it's actually a refrigerator magnet that I cut a little piece out of. I got it from Office Depot. It has some adhesive on one side, which you can use to put your own business cards on and then put it on the refrigerator. 
So with the adhesive side, I stuck it to this screwdriver. And what it can be used for is these lock washers can be put on here. And then you can put this in harder reach places. Also, you can put a nut on here and also use it in, in tough spaces. Actually, this works better than the holder I have found with the nuts. Another tool I use is masking tape. And masking tape I use to hold uh, parts in position uh, before I tighten them up with bolts. Sometimes you need to do that. It's kind of hard to hold the part in place. Okay, so those are the tools. These uh, uh, two tools here I kind of recommend getting. Uh, this is a really useful thing, and so is the um, tape. Now, power tools. Not necessary to get these, uh, uh, but I'll tell you, this here is a Black & Decker uh, power tool, power screwdriver. It has a removable tip, just like that screwdriver. You can put it in here. It's great for removing bolts, taking things apart, but for tightening, not so good. Um, it uh, over tightens them and strips the, uh, the heads of the bolts. Guess what? Meccano has their own electric screwdriver. And it runs on two AA batteries. And we'll have Peter show you how fast this thing goes. You see it's really slow. <laughs> now, it takes like four times longer to tighten a bolt with this than with the screwdriver. It does tighten it to the correct amount, but it's so slow it's just a waste of effort. To I don't recommend getting this getting this power tool. And now we'll go on to an example here. Um, let's say now you look at this, this is a cube. It's closed at all ends except the top. And let's say you want to put this thing in here and you have a bolt going in here falls off it makes it a little difficult what I do is I get my masking tape here I'm gonna hold it in place temporarily now I need to get the lock washer in there and the nut and what you'll do is you put that in like this you put it around the bolt and then once you have that in you take a nut put it around the bolt tighten it up with the screwdriver you're done and you can remove the masking tape and the piece will be on. Another thing you can do, let's say you want to put this thing in here. What you can do is you can take your magnetic screwdriver, stick it through here, stick it so the bolt sticks out, and you can put your part on, the lock washer, and the nut. So those are some simple uh, techniques that I use that make it a lot easier to, to build um, these models. Um, Scott uses these techniques as well. As a matter of fact, he taught me some of them. So uh, let's give credit where credit is due. If you have any questions about this uh, video or any other video or any recommendations, please send me an email. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching.